spring of the uh, uh, oblique uh, incident waves by rigid foundation on the ground uh, and others. <laughs> The seismic waves in free field can be P waves uh, or uh, S V waves or combination of them. The seismic wave of free field cons consists of two parts, incident waves and reflected waves. You see, uh, in this uh, figure, uh, uh, the earthquake transformed from the left to the right hand. And in this in the soil, we can find a large structure, a large structure. And that means in this inside this structure there's no soil. Then between the uh, structure uh, and the soil, there's a joint surface. When the wave reach to the joint surface, there's a uh, re reflection or deflection. The displacement field of the scattering waves of S V waves with oblique uh, incident has a large amplitude, and uh, its di distribution is not uh, symmetrical, and the difference between the two sides of the valley is very large. Uh, enough attention should be paid to the ground motion in the irregular terrain. Two, the study on dynamic response of structure in soil. This kind of problem include the study of deformation and the movement of structures in the soil and the action of wave field and local power pressure. Already we have considered vibration source. The influence of surrounding soil on the structure needs to be considered. When the soil is infinite, it is necessary to introduce artificial boundary to intercept the finite soil around the structure. You see, uh, we must uh, select a, a, a finite uh, soil zone. Uh, then we have to use some artificial boundary to describe the far field. Uh, three. Study on the dynamic performance of soil structure system. It provides the basis for dynamic reliability design. The dynamic performance of the system includes the scattering and the absor uh, absorption of the waves by the structure, the displacement and the stress response of the structure, the dynamic characteristics of the structure and the vibration, isolation materials and their vibration reduction effects. Then let's see the research method of soil structure interaction systems. Uh, usually in engineering, they divide it into some uh, uh, experimental study or theory study or numerical analysis method. First, let's see the experimental study. Laboratory experiment study. Uh, include the shaking table test because this is a soil dynamics. We must simulate the earthquake, uh, or we, we have to use a centrifuge test. Uh, uh, this is a, a, a diagram of a centrifuge. Uh, uh, this is a beam uh, and uh, with a shaft uh, with a uh, bucket. Uh, we can put the soil container in the bucket. 
and this beam can rotate rotate uh, surrounding this shaft uh, and uh, that the the bucket uh, uh, fly fly uh, let the bucket fly uh. then in the uh, the the soil in the in the bucket will have the uh, the the larger larger uh, centri centrifuge force uh, and this force increased uh, the the uh, grav uh, 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 a vertical force acting on the soil uh, let this force uh, be the, uh, uh, the gravitational acceleration uh, in the soil uh, then it can create the real stress uh, um, a real stress distribution and uh, uh, the real strain distribution in the soil sample with a uh, a uh, a uh, a small scale. Uh, the when you consider the soil dynamics, you have to use the centrifuge test uh, uh, to do the modeling test of the soil mechanics. Soil, and if you do the soil dynamics, uh, you have to install a a shaking table on the on the bottom of this. Um, Bucket. And uh, for shaking table, uh, this is a, a, a picture of shaking table. Uh, this plate, and uh, uh, below this plate, there's a ma machine to generate a shaking, a shaking to, uh, to uh, in this table. Then we can install the uh, the models on this plate. Then we can shaking it, uh, and the shaking waves uh, can be artificial one or uh, a nature earthquake one. Uh, uh, this is a laboratory is a modeling test, and there's others a field test and a seismic observation. Uh, the shaking table test can be used for multi-dimensional seismic input. The centrifuge test, uh, um, the shaking uh, the centrifuge test can only simulate one dimensional vibration, uh, because it's very small, and uh, then couldn't uh, apply in the uh, multi-direction seismic uh, uh, input. Uh. And there's uh, some other analysis and uh, uh, research. Uh, and uh, include the analytical method and the numerical method. The method of combining experimental research with analytical research is uh, is necessary. Usually, we use uh, 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 use the modeling test to uh, to check the result of simulation is right or not, is valid or not. And uh, uh, according to the solution area, uh, there's a uh, uh, we we divided the analysis the method into direct method, uh, or substructure method. Uh, direct method, uh, in fact, is a holistic method. Uh, or according to the solution method, uh, according to solution method, the uh. uh we 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 uh, we divided all the method into analytical method, semi-analytical method, and the numerical method and the equivalent method. Uh, analytical method usually we can create some uh, equations and uh, solving these equations directly, and get some uh, formulations to. Uh, to solve the soil dynamic uh, problems, semi-analytical method uh, usually we develop uh, we divided the, the soil structure interaction system into two parts. One part is can be solved by analytical method, 
but the other part can, can only be solved by numerical method. Uh, then we combine these two methods together. Then we call it semi-analytical method. And the numerical method, we only use numerical method to uh, to solve the soil, uh, soil structure uh, analysis directly uh, to solve uh, or any engineering uh, any soil structure interaction uh, questions in engineering. Our equivalent method is that uh, we can calculate the earthquake uh, inertial force of uh, uh, acting on the structure and the soil. Then we apply this uh, force, uh, static force, directly. Uh, then we, 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 we call it the equivalent method. Uh, or according to the load input mode, uh, uh, divided to two methods, wave field input method and initial load method. Uh, uh, we can solve the soil structure interaction problems by input uh, a wave time history, or we can uh, apply the initial load directly to the soil structure uh, system. Uh, this is the 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 uh, the in detail. Uh, uh, let's see one by one. Direct method. Uh, the dynamic equations of soil and structures are given respectively, and then the dynamic equations of soil and structures are solved by coupling interface conditions. Uh, for nonlinear. Heterogeneous and discontinuous interaction problems can be solved. And the intersurface characteristic between soil and the structure can be simulated by using contact element method. And there are a lot of dynamic degrees of freedom, and the amount of calculation is huge. And the substructure method, uh, uh, or semi-analytical method, the soil structure are treated as uh, dynamic substructures. Uh, uh, the soil was carried out in two steps. The first step is to analyze the uh, dynamic substructure of soil and determine the false different relationship of the degree of freedom connected with the structure. Then, the dynamic stiffness coefficient matrix is given. Each dynamic stiffness coefficient represents a generalized spring damper. And the spring damper is connected with structure to replace the, the interaction between soil and the structure. The second step is to analyze the vibration of structure supported by the spring damper system. The substructure method can decompose the complex soil structure interaction system into several parts which are easier to deal with. The substructure method implies the superposition principle and is only suitable for linear analysis. That's very important. Here, this is the, the uh, uh, a sample. Huh? You see, the upper structure is here. It's simplified by, by this frame. Uh, and for the soil, um, we use uh, uh, two uh, vertical and horizontal system, uh, a viscoelastic system, uh, uh, to simulate the effects of soil. And for the soil, we have to provide this coefficient, uh, K and C, uh, vertical and horizontal. Then we apply the load on the on a soil, and uh, 
uh, we can we can get the the uh, according to the response we can determine the, the coefficient of it. We take it as the the system of uh, spring and the whisker element combine uh, connect uh, com connect parallelly, mm. and then uh, we 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 can determine the coefficient of it. Or if we consider the the, the mass the mass of the soil, we can apply the other mass system in the in the in this soil system and uh, and we we, we can apply the the uh, connection a yeah, viscous elastic connection of the mass of soil with the foundation and the bedrock uh, uh, and uh, if it's a layered soil and we can add uh, several uh, masses uh, and uh, uh, also connect uh, them with uh, several uh, viscous elastic uh, system. And the model consists of two parts. Structure system composed of structure, foundation, piles, and additional foundation soil. And the multi uh, particles free field system, which is not affected by the structure. The free field system is uh, regarded as the soil column per unit area. Considering the dif different soil layer characteristic of the side soil, the free field is divided into several horizontal soil layers according to the actual soil layer conditions, and the mass of a soil layer is connect, uh, concentrated at the interface. And for superstructure, if the mass of each floor is concentrated on the floor, it can be regarded as the shear types of particle system or bending shear types particle system. The quality of power is often concentrated on the interface of its horizontal soil layer and the foundation soil. The moment of inertia of the foundation includes the moment of inertia of the foundation itself and that of upper structures. Okay. This is a comparison between the assumption and the consideration of rigid foundation interaction. Uh, you see, the think, the think curves, the think line curves, uh, the think line curves is uh, for the soil structure interaction, and the thin line curves is for. Uh, for the simulation result with assumption of rigid foundation, a rigid foundation. Uh, don't consider soil structure interaction. Uh, we can find that there, there is totally different. And uh, in this in this condition, uh, in this condition, we can find that uh, the the displacement the displacement uh, of uh, when we consider soil structure interaction is smaller than that uh, with the assumption of rigid foundation. Uh, mm, and this response in, in the, in the uh, different ground types, uh, uh, spectrum, uh, spectrum given in these uh, two uh, four figures. Uh, a field type one, field type two, field type three, and the field type four. The soil is uh, uh, from soft to hard, uh, to, to from hard to so soft. Uh. 
and uh, nonlinear problems are uh, material nonlinear caused by the inelastic soil medium. Uh, uh, we can solve this by selecting appropriate foundation model. Uh, we, we can, uh, foundation uh, in here, uh, it should be uh, soil, soil model. Uh, usually, we have to use some uh, viscoelastic model or uh, plastic uh, elastoplastic model. Uh, yeah. And for the nonlinear problems of uh, uh, state caused by the sleep, uh, uh, we can use the separation and the reclosure between the foundation and the, its surrounding soil. Uh, that means we have to use the, some joint surface element to describe the, the separation. Uh, cracks between the uh, in the joint surface uh, of the soil and the structure. And the damping problems. Damping refers to the effects of vibration attenuation, uh, attenuation or vibration energy dissipation. The damping force theory of the element is very complicated. A kind of damping is related to the velocity of strain rate of particle, which is called viscous damping. Its damping force is directly proportional to the velocity of the uh, particle, and its direction is opposite to that of the velocity. The different materials adopt their uh, own damping, and the material proportional method is used in the uh, finite element conclusion. In other words, various, form, various forms of damping are defined in the model, structure part, soil part, and others. Let's see the basic theory of uh, dynamic interaction between the soil and the structure. The dynamic equation of the soil and the structure is the basis of the soil structure interaction theory. And the dynamic equations is established with the help of physical constitutive model of soil and the structure. And the, the analysis of dynamic interaction problem is based on dynamic analysis method. And the dynamic analysis method for soil structure interaction system. Uh, let's see. Uh, analytical method of dynamic analysis. The analytical method is generally applicable to linear problems with simple structure shapes and uh, regular soil distribution. Anyway, uh, in practical engineering, uh, we can f find seldom. A semi-analytical method for dynamic analysis. Semi-analytical method, also known as semi-analytical numerical method, is a combination of analytical method and the numerical analysis. It refers to the numerical method in which analytical solutions or analytical functions are used in the process of analysis, of numerical analysis. Then is the numerical method, the finite element method or dynamic analysis. It can be used for dynamic and static analysis and calculation of various complex structures. Any practical engineering can be can be solved by the numerical method. Or large deformation and the physical non-linearity. For the large deformation, perhaps we can develop some uh, numerical method with uh, uh, finite uh, deformation theory, finite deformation theory, 
for example, the, the Lagrangian method or uh, Ola method. Or if uh, for the physical nonlinear, we can use some mod, uh, uh, modern uh, constitutive model. Coupling analysis of geotechnical media structure. In the dynamic system of rock soil structure, the contact interface between soil and the structure will cause wave reflection and refraction, uh, resulting in energy exchange. The interface condition, a coupling condition, of the soil structure interface has great influence on the calculation results of dynamic system. So it is necessary to deal with the interface problems reasonably and give the reasonable contaction, contact the surface connection condition. Okay, that's for uh, soil structure um, interaction, chapter six.